Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So following the last week analysis uh, video, I mentioned that we can expect for the EURUSD to reverse or make a small reversal right on this support level on daily candles and we can expect for the euro usd to make a small bounce up to this resistance before it gonna fall down however the strength of the bearish momentum is very strong and the, the pair just continued falling down immediately so now in my opinion what's gonna happen and if we look at the left we can see that we have here a support level and it is very strong key support level right here and i wanted to remind you that if you remember from my old videos what did i tell you about the way to draw the support lines or the resistance lines we have to draw the support and, res and resistance lines in a way the line of the resistance or the support touching all of the wicks included in the pattern of the reversal so as you can see here i have drawn my uh, support line here touching the shortest wick in this pattern which is right here and what can we see on the left, oh, sorry, on the right, is the reversal happened right exactly on it. And that is fantastic. Now, uh, what, is, uh, what is the point now? The point is that reversal is happening and the EURUSD seems like it's actually reversing right from the support level. And I believe it's going to make another bounce, another, sub, another reversal before it's going to continue falling more down. So let's go to the 4-hour chart so we can read it uh, in better way so we can understand where we can expect the reversal from the euro usd in my opinion the euro usd is having a strong a strong level of a resistance right here which was also a strong support right here and right here it was a key support level actually in the past therefore uh, i'm expecting from the euro usd to bounce up all the way to hit this previous support level before it actually can start uh, continue its bearish momentum and it's gonna keep falling more down so uh, the euro usd is should be good uh, this week for the short right on the level uh, 1.09421 which is exactly right on this previous support level and you can keep your trade running all the way let me just give you a realistic signal since we don't have much time uh, for the pair to actually reach a bit lower than this support level so our take profit level is going to be right here at the bottom of the support on the level let me just write it for you so this is our take profit on the level 1.08887 hopefully this is gonna be a good week so far it is actually a good week and I'm hoping that it will just gonna continue this way uh, let me just uh, say that in case you have opened your sell order here there is just a small chance or a probability that the euro USD might actually continue rising all the way up until it hit this previous resistance right here it's not here sorry it is right here exactly because as you can see we already have here a resistance number one and here it was also at the top of this resistance but um, I mean seeing the strength of this bearish momentum and the falling i don't see it happening and i believe the pair is indeed gonna reverse on the level given at this previous support let's check right now the pound usd the pound usd is reversing exactly as the level i have mentioned if you have seen my weekly analysis video i mentioned that this level here we are having a support number one and the pound USD is easily gonna reverse right on this level to create a support number two that is exactly what happened and the pair has reversed now what I said also in the video that this level here at this previous support is gonna be good for the short and indeed it was it was good for the reverse uh, for the short uh, the pair has reversed for almost 27 pips before it actually made one more attempt at the support level right here it reversed right on this support as you can see on this support here it bounced and it just continued to go more up however if you have seen also my, uh, my last week analysis video i said that we can expect for the euro usd to rise a little bit more up to this level before it's gonna be good for the short 
and I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'm going to keep my word. Uh, the euro USD, sorry, the pound USD is indeed good for the short because we can see here that we have a lot of resistance attempts at the level. So the euro USD signal did not change. The pair is indeed good for the short right on this level and I'm expecting for it to continue falling more down all the way until it hit this previous support. So, uh, Euro USD, uh, sorry, why keep saying Euro USD? Uh, the Pound USD, let me just give you the exact level where we can start short the Pound USD. Just a second. I need to give exact level where we can see it happening actually. If I'm not mistaken, just look at the left. Uh, just be sure, be sure, be sure. Not here, okay. Let's check. Yes, perfect. Yes, fantastic. Uh, the best level at all, in my opinion, to start shorting the pound USD is actually very close. I mean, we are just like 12 pips away. Maybe by the end, by the time I end this video, it's gonna reach it. I mean, uh, sell on the level uh, 1.2980. Eight, and just keep your thread running all the way until the candles actually hit this previous support level right here which is gonna be our take profit level on uh, 1.28374 hopefully uh, this is what will gonna happen and again don't be afraid or worried if you see the pound going against you a little bit most likely looking at daily candles the pound DST really seems good for the sell right on this resistance we are currently at let's check the AUD USD now the AUD USD I have given the signal for start shorting the AUD USD right on this resistance here we can see that the pair reversed in this resistance of course the signal was given to start short the, U the AUD USD exactly right here and the pair has indeed kept falling down for almost 30 33 pips uh, and it was in good profit uh, somehow the pair just uh, went up again and make another attempt to uh, break out from the resistance in my opinion that is just gonna be another attempt on the resistance number two because we are having here a resistance number one and the pair might actually try to make a resistance number two uh, however, the pair the pair seems is good for the short, and I think the AUD USD is gonna keep its uh, momentum and fall down. Now, if we look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that we are right now on 61.8, and therefore I believe the AUD USD is gonna start falling right now, and we can just keep the signal of the last week running because the AUD USD seems like it's gonna break out from the support, as I said. So nothing's changed for the AUD USD let me just uh, check on the left where we can expect the pair to exactly reverse I think it's gonna reverse right now on the current level where it is right now actually we can see that here we also have a resistance right here this is where the pair is right now uh, is on right now and here it was also a strong support in the past and here as well so uh, AUD USD seems good for the short right away not to mention of course that we are having here also a resistance level right here and right here therefore yes as I said AUD USD signal is still for the short nothing changed let's look at the USD GPY which, which has reversed exactly also from the level I have given in the last weekly analysis video I mentioned that the, AU, the USD GPY is good for the buy on the level 109.642 that is exactly where the pair has reversed look at that that's I mean perfect perfect very nice and the pair is right now for those who have joined the signal is running in 20 pips of profit and uh, nothing has changed for the USD GPY uh, right now also we are on another strong support level right here we can see on the left uh, on the level 109.807 we are here also facing right now another strong support level so after this bullish breakout candle from the resistance here we can expect the pair to actually continue rising its way going up uh, all the way as I gave in, in the last signal as I gave in the last signal sorry and we can expect for it to hit this resistance right here 
so we can expect for the usd gpy to continue rising for almost 36 pips and after that we need to see a good price action indicating a breakout or a reversal that's the reason i have given my signal to be exactly on this resistance level <coughs> sorry <coughs> let's check out now the usd cad the usd cad uh, from the last week analysis video I mentioned that this level if I'm not mistaken this level I think here the signal was given I think here if I'm not mistaken uh, this is old one so as I said in the last uh, video the USD CAD is gonna reverse from this resistance level is gonna reverse from this resistance and gonna keep falling down all the way until it hit this previous support level and from that point it's gonna be good for the buy however uh, the signal now is gonna be changed because the I now we cannot expect really for seeing the price action indicating a strong a, str a strength in the resistance so we have to expect from the USD CAD to actually reverse on this resistance as uh, on the support going all the way up to this resistance and then we need to see a good price action indicating a, a breakout or a reversal so really we are not yet sure uh, what I can say for the USD CAD is it's gonna continue falling down hitting this previous support level and it's gonna face a strong support in the past right here and right here and of course right here so definitely USD CAD is good for the buy right on this level uh, we can just keep the trade running until it hit this resistance level right here no need to risk more because honestly speaking in my opinion what I'm expecting after all these attempts that the USD CAD is actually gonna break out from the resistance and climb its way to this uh, resistance right here however we cannot say that yet we are not sure yet until now we need to see a good price action indicating the breakout uh, on the resistance therefore that is my signal for the USD CAD uh, nothing has changed keep it as it is because it's very close to the entry point let's check right now the USD CHF uh, the USD CHF is actually uh, has almost reached this level where I mentioned we can start buying the USD CHF. We can see the signal still here. We can start buy the USD CHF on 0 0.97509. That is exactly where the pair is at right now. And actually, I maybe I will change the signal. I just want to be sure because I don't think after seeing this pattern. I really don't think the USD CHF is gonna go up right now so let me just uh, do some adjustments here I believe this is gonna be much better level for start buying the USD CHF I believe yes that's actually more convenient we can see right now here we have a support a resistance and here it was also a support level uh, looking at the daily candles look at that that's the reason the signal is actually changing sometimes we cannot just give the signal blindly and tell you to buy here and sell there we also need to see the price action now seeing this sorry seeing this price action here these three weeks here like that that is usually indicating that the pair is gonna now fall down but not really for a long time it's gonna make a small pullback in my opinion uh, it's gonna fall down hit this previous support level right here and then from that point the USD CHF is gonna rise more up therefore the signal for the USD CHF is now changed I hope uh, you guys will not enter the signal right now after seeing this price action I mean I really should make the video of the price action um, you don't know what happened I mean I was really sick last week and the, the preparation for the price action video is not easy at all it's not easy to make one video where I collect all the price actions uh, level, um, shapes that I know and include them in one video that is not easy not easy at all so that's why it takes some time from me to make the video however uh, USD signal USD CHF signal is changed to this level uh, let me just change it buy on the level <coughs> 0.97 hopefully uh, that's what will gonna happen and we're gonna make some good profit from the USD CHF now let's check the gold the gold signal however 
was I think accurate if I'm not mistaken uh, the signal has been given right on this level 1563.51 uh, right on this support here I said that the gold is good for the short right now and we can start again by the gold once it reached uh, this support level and that is exactly what happened the gold has reversed right on the support uh, those who have joined this buy signal are right now in almost 45 pips of profit uh, again nothing changed for the gold i believe the gold now after reversing from the support on actually four times i mean we have one two three four times attempt of breaking out on this support and the pair has reversed i believe it's gonna continue now it's bullish momentum all the way and the gold is gonna rise up here actually until it hit this previous resistance so the signals are going so well so far i mean if you are late on entering the gold signal then don't enter it right now because going to the one hour chart <coughs> we can see that right now we are here on a resistance level so buying the gold right now is not uh, it's actually it's gonna be risky it's not safe to buy right now if you are late entering the signal then sorry tough luck for you because it was really good signal for the buy right here and yeah 47 pips of profit so far uh, if you are late on entering the gold signal what you can do is actually wait another attempt on this support level right here exactly right here um, let me tell you if you are lucky enough we can see that the pair might actually reverse on that uh, resistance and go all the way down to this support level which I'm gonna give the signal right now one five oh, sorry buy on one five six six point five eight hopefully we can see that the pair is gonna reverse on this uh, resistance go down to the support level at uh, this support level I think it's gonna be good to start again buying the gold and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance just to be safe let's keep it only until hitting this resistance level right here and after that I'm in we're gonna see what will gonna happen with the gold so uh, hopefully uh, everyone will gonna make some good profits from these signals so far the week is running very well especially for the pound USD and for the gold and for um, if I'm not mistaken also the USD GPY so again I uh, really wish you guys a good week and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching